Last video I made, we built these DVD shelves behind me. They are gonna be fully hidden. Today, on this wall with all the wires hangling, hanging, we are going to be building the equipment rack. Plan for today is gonna to be remove this middle one. None of the walls down here are supporting any kind of weight. This basement was just a wide open cement slab when I got the house. We could easily knock this out. It's not a big deal. You can even see it vibrating when I hit it. It's not doing anything other than waiting to hold sheetrock, which is no longer the plan. And because it's the Star Wars universe, I'm not gonna be building a simple four wall square column going floor to ceiling. I think that would be fine if I put some Star Wars-esque things on it. This is gonna end up being five and a back wall, so whatever that would be. So I have to measure all of the home theater equipment, get it in here, get it wired. These are all speaker wires electric wire for the, uh, it's gonna be on its own breaker. And I also have a power converter. Little tip if you're building your own media room or home theater, get a power converter that will take all the electricity in and distribute it as needed. It's much safer for your setup. We'll prevent power surges, we'll prevent power draws, uh, especially for things like a projector or a higher end TV. It puts a lot of wear and tear on it if there's even little pulses of power in and out, which is kind of inevitable, so highly recommended. The, the way I'm trying to approach this with my own means and my own budget is I want to walk in this room and feel like I went to a room by Galaxy's Edge. So when I built these walls, I built them to be walls, not to be a Death Star, not to be an equipment rack. I used a nail gun with long nails to put all these in. I used a 22 caliber puncture to shoot the nails into the floor. So the only way to get this out is brute force. So I'm gonna take a hammer and start breaking this thing out. Really wasn't all that bad. Uh, I tried to bang these nails through as much as I could so they wouldn't be a hazard. The nails on the floor are gonna be a problem right now. I gotta get a new cutting wheel for my Dremel and then I'm gonna cut them off in the wood so that no one can ever get a snag on it. All right, so all my home theater equipment is in boxes. I don't want it down here getting all this construction debris and dust on it. So I spent some time, went through, I measured the receiver, the power converter, the projector, <laughs> the three most important things for the home theater, but also they're the biggest pieces. I thought the power converter was gonna be the biggest, but the projector was a little bit deeper, so I'm glad I didn't just measure the one. My thinking for the column is I'm going to design it as if it's a square. The square will fit everything. Then when we get to the angled front part, on the outside it's mostly going to be for decoration, but on the inside it's gonna allow a negative space where I can pass through all the wires. Projector is obviously going to be on the top as close to the ceiling as possible. And then below that will be the receiver because it's going to have the wiring going to it. Below that's the power converter. So I'll need to pass wires from the power converter to the receiver projector, from the projector to the receiver. The speakers all feed into the receiver, so it's going to have to pass the projector's row to get to it. There's going to be wires going back and forth. So having that little channel on the front is going to let me pass everything through with ease and also building it slightly larger is gonna let me upgrade down the line. The widest piece of gear I had was 20 inches. The inside of these two is just shy of 27 inches. So I can build to that as a wall, to here as a wall, which also works out perfectly because I have the rubber floor from the gym side overlapping. It'll give me an inside of about 22, 21 inches. Perfect. With the orientation of all the equipment, the deepest thing I have is the projector. It's only 18 inches, really not that big. I'm a long way since the CRT. I had a Sony G90 on my ceiling. Look that thing up if you're curious. My new Sony VWES series, not bad at all. So I'm gonna go 18 inches from the wall to make the cabinet that will hold everything. And then I'm gonna keep the Star Wars column looking thing where it comes out at an angle as short as possible because that's mostly for the look, but also like I said, cord pass through. Pressure treated whenever you're going against basement floor, cement floor. That way, if some water or moisture does back up, it's mold resistant, it's rot resistant, it's gonna be a lot better. It's well worth the extra money just to do the bottom part of the room. For the parts going up the walls, against the ceiling, whatever, use the regular, it's gonna be inside walls. You can even try to get rough cuts from a lumber mill. A lot of times that's cheaper. I have my two pieces cut. Now I just need to cut the angle. It'll be against the floor, back wall. This will be the top going into the room, so it'll lay flat. Cut this at an angle so that I can match the angle and go across, and that'll be the shape. So here is the outline just laid out. I use the square to square each corner with the back wall. Unfortunately, you can see the crack in the cement. I don't know if it was two different slab pours, but this basement was badly water damaged when we bought the house. There's a bit of a lift. I'm gonna end up shimming that and then attaching the nail in the center on the flat part of the floor. It's really flat here, kind of dips down right here. So to keep this as level as possible, I'll be sinking a nail here, shimming the back for support. As long as the this individual thing is straight and the shelves inside are straight, 
My equipment will be straight, so that's okay. We're gonna be attaching the frame we made to the floor. We got this thing, it's a ram set. Because the piece of wood I cut was so small, the nail split it right in half. It flew over that way somewhere. I heard it hit that brown piece of wood. Okay, so I went back in, cut the piece that blew up. 